change on the defensive staff? They midseason they change coordinators. Have you seen a difference in what they do or how they do it? Uh, you know, a little bit. I know. I think um, the, you know. You saw a lot of what they're playing. You, you see. You saw them do that a little bit last year, and you saw them do it at the beginning of the year. And um, you know, we've we've chose to focus. You know, since uh, kind of the, the most recent games. And um, but no, I don't. I don't think it has been a major difference. Uh, obviously, not a great performance offensively. To come out the way that you guys did. How big was that for confidence? And what did you like about the way you guys responded right away? Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was proud of our offense. You know, it was a, it was a rough week, a long week. Uh, you know, against the Huskies, and uh, we challenged them. You know, to, to battle back, and, and I was proud of the way that those guys worked and practiced um, last week, and, and uh, just to see them come out the first drive and, and get that score. You know, it was kind of like. Uh, it's just a relief there, you know, and I think they settled down, and then and we were able, to, able to, to go pretty good in the first half and, and move the ball and get some points. And um, yeah, I think we've got a, a, a talented group and, and uh, a group that's a confident deal. And I just think that first drive got them back into the, the groove, and I and, uh, thought we did some good things, particularly in the first half. What are, you, what are you guys doing during the week that allows yeah. you to bounce back from like after like the Utah game? You guys bounce back really well after that one, and then after Washington, you guys bounce back. Uh, yeah, I just think it's uh, it's going back to work and and uh, you know it's focusing on the task at hand and and uh, you know focusing on the process of what we're what we're doing and and uh, each and every day and we said you know it's not necessarily that desire to go win on game day it's like hey what are you doing during the week um, to, to to get that and I thought the guys have done a nice job of buying into that of this is what we're asking you to do on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever and focusing on that and, and executing it the best of your ability. And I, I just think they went back to work and, and had a great week of practice and it showed on, on game day. Has Noah always been that good after the catch? Is he showing a little bit more as he's closing the show in his career? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I hadn't seen a ton of that. And I, and I think, uh, you know, for him, I think he'd been, he'd been dinged up, you know, last year to where we weren't really seeing much of it. But uh, it was good to get him, get, see him catch some balls and then, and then, uh, Finished with some physical runs, and then the one that he hurdled, you know, on the touchdown there in the red zone. Uh, yeah, I think that's always a bonus. But uh, yeah, he's a talented player, and, and it was good to see him. It's good to see him finally healthy. And seeing Tegan over here, I know he has a lot of catches, a few big ones though. How's he progressing this year? Uh, we're excited about Tegan. Tegan's a big part of our offense, and he's uh, he's super physical in the run game. Um, and uh, and yeah, we, we don't ask him to do a ton in the past the past game, but when he's when his number's called, he's made plays for us this year. Um, but yeah, super excited about his progress, and, and uh, you know he's really important to what we do. You mentioned uh, when you talked about bouncing back. We have some leaders on the team, and the team sort of rallies around. Uh, they hope you do that. Yeah, I think uh, I think Jake Luton has, has has stepped up, and I you know Blake Brandle has played a lot of games around here, and I think guys look to him as well, Gus Lavaca. And those guys were pretty disappointed in their performance uh, against the Huskies, um, and it was it was a big week for them, and, and they really challenged the offense and, and uh, were more vo more vocal than they've been since I've since I've been here. Uh, so I think that was really good, and I think that's um, those are signs of uh, I think growth of the program um, is you know leadership coming from within, and and those guys understanding hey this is kind of their their last run, and and. Uh, you know, they got a op great opportunity in front of them is making the most of it. You guys' run game, I think, got 105 yards. It's been down a little bit. Is there anything you see in there? Are you concerned about that at all? Or is it just maybe the way the you know, last game kind of went for you guys? Yeah, too? And I, some of it, I think, the, the opponent and how they're playing you. And, and uh, you look at the Huskies, you look at Arizona State, and Arizona State particularly um, has been really strong versus the run. And, and uh, those guys do a nice job of moving up front and, and gave us some problems. And they really, you could tell, uh, their plan was really we're going to load it up and and we're going to we're going to try everything we can to stop Jamar and AP and and make you one dimensional. And uh, we tried to stay patient with the run. We got a little bit of it going in the first half, but I, I do think them being that aggressive opened up. You saw a lot of uh, play actions and the, the naked movement game, and and uh, it plays off, you know. And I think it's just it goes game to game as far as what the defense is trying to, how they're trying to attack you. We try to be good at both, you know, being able to be able to run it or throw it and, and, and play, depending on how they're playing, playing us. This, this, this week's game is a game where you really would like to run the ball because of their offense and, and being able to control the ball and have long drives and keep their offense on the sideline. Yeah, I, I mean, we want to run the ball every week. Um, 
you know, I think that's a huge part of what we do. And, and uh, obviously, if we can if we can control the clock in this game and, and keep their offense, I mean, they're averaging I don't know how many points. It's a bunch of points. I know a bunch of points at home too. Um, but really explosive offense that puts up a ton of points. Anytime that you can control the clock and, and be able to run the ball, I think that helps. Where does uh, you see Jake progress the most this year? Um, well, I think I think decision making. You know, and I, I think he's. I think he's seen the field so much better. I think he has a better understanding of defenses, and I think that helps his anticipation. You know, and so he's he's not forcing balls, he's not guessing, um, he's having an idea. Hey, in this situation, they may give me this this coverage, or um, and I think it's it's showing. And then and then I think uh, you know in the pocket presence, you know, he's doing a nice job of moving in the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield. Where um, where last year he was. You know, more apt to just throw it away right away, or or take some sacks. I think he's done a better job of sliding and moving in the pocket and giving him buying himself just a little bit more time to make some throws. Is, are those things that he, he focused on like specifically in the off season, or is that kind of just the natural progression of a guy who has experience now? Uh, I think I think a little bit of it is just experience in the system. You know, he he uh, has been in the same system now for a second year, and he's more comfortable with that and knows where the answers are at. Um, and then, yeah, he put in a lot of work. I think he just he got himself healthy in the off season, uh, and had a really, a really good job with the or a good good off season with the strength staff, to where he got himself healthy and he's just moving so much better. Have you seen much difference in film of Washington State from Tracy Clay's defense versus post Tracy Clay's? Um, you know, a little bit. I think there's some. Uh, you know, I think you you see. Um, I think it's just maybe a shift of, of focus a little bit more on on, on certain things, but. Um, and then there's been some tweaks personnel-wise, um, but no, I mean I think it's they're still really active up front, and uh, you know they get after they get after quarterbacks, and and uh, it'll be a real challenge for offensive line with all the movement and stemming and stuff that they do um, up front. And then I think it's just been a little bit maybe you see all that stuff show up before the change, um, but maybe a little bit more focused in a certain direction after they made it. What's it like having a one step closer potential Bolitnikov winner on your staff? <laughs> uh, now, I, we're, Hodge is a super talented player, and, and uh, I, I just have a real appreciation for how he works during the week. You know, I mean, it, it just from spring ball to off season to fall camp to each game, you know, he's out there and he really works hard and, and treats it. Uh, you know, every day like a professional. And I think it's it's paid off. So I think it's uh, you know it's it's good for our program moving forward. And and uh, yeah, it's a testament to his work ethic.